Hey up everyone, just a very very quick follow-up tutorial on how to fix a couple of, well, the two most pressing issues I've seen lately on uh, Resident Evil 2 Source Next, uh, namely the issue of the lost config.ini file and the unresponsive keyboard. Now, um, to start off, I've got a tutorial of how to install RE2 Source Next. You've probably seen that and that's why you're here, but if you haven't, I'll link it in the description. Um, so you've gone through the installation, you've got it all set up, you've got the patches put in and everything's ready to go and you run the game. Let's just do that. When you do that, for the first time, you'll get a config box. Uh, I always tick always boot in configure mode, so I get this all the time. But this is what you'll get first time. So this will come up, choose your settings, you know, controllers, all these tick boxes, full screen resolution, whatever. When you're ready, okay, the game will come on. So just let it run through to the menu. Then we're going to press F9 twice to close it down. Okay, when you do that, for the first time, it will generate configuration options in a file called config.ini. The place to find that is, usually, it should be in your default directory on the C drive. So C, program files, x86, Capcom, bio2, and it should appear in here. This is the directory. Now, I've got multiple extra files in here because I've got two randomizer tools with the varying settings and logs from there, etc, etc, etc. So yours will have as many stuff in here, but this is the folder. Within here, there should be a folder called config.ini, similar to that symbol. But as you can see on mine, it isn't there. And this is the first problem I'm going to show you how to solve. If it isn't here, then I'll just show you where the info is. If you go to the frequently asked questions on troubleshooting Apple of Eden, uh, the, the site that Gemini, the creator of the patch, uh, puts this information on and go right to the bottom, you'll see uh, I can't find my config.ini. Happens mostly on Windows 10 if you install the game the regular way through its setup or under some weird conditions with user account control being set to strict control. If your situation falls under either condition, the config file along with the save data will end up being stored under app data, virtual store, Capcom 2 or a similar path. Right, so what we're going to do is, if your config.ini isn't in the main directory, just go to your Windows search and type in app data. And there's the folder. Click on that. It's usually in your user uh, folder. It does say update to virtual store Capcom. Mine doesn't go straight to virtual store. I have to just double click local and it's within the local file right at the bottom. There it is, virtual store. So I'm going to double click on that and it's going to go through a set of duplicate folders. So there's the program files x86, Capcom, Bio2, et voila. There is the little blighter, the config file that holds all the settings that you set up when you first run the game. So that is where to find the config if it doesn't appear in your main directory, in the app folder directory. Now it says here, um, once located, all files can easily be copied to the game's actual folder and it should keep updating that config dot in it instead of the one in virtual star. Now you can do that, but I had a comment earlier today from a user who tried to do this. He transferred his config.ini from the app data folder into the C drive directory and it would not work, change the uh, settings there as he did them. So I suggested to him to just leave it where it is. Leave it in the app data folder and just any, any any modifications you need to do to it, it it's right there, yeah. And he, he did that, he followed my advice, and he didn't send it to the other folder. He kept it in there and just changed it as he needed to, and it worked. So my personal advice would be, don't follow this bit about copy it back to the games folder. If, my, my logic was, if your computer seen fit to put it there, then that's obviously where it's going to keep looking for it. So just keep it there, and if you need to make alterations to it, there it is. So that's the first problem, how to find the lost config.ini. If it's not in the C colon backslash x86 Capcom Bio 2, it will be in this app data folder. And the information's there. Apple of Eden under troubleshooting for classic rebirth. 
Okay, so that's problem one, and that brings me neatly onto problem two, the keyboard issue. Now, by far and away, the most commonly reported problem after people watch my tutorial was that their keyboard wasn't responding. Now, if you go into that config.ini file, you will see a load of coded jargon. If you scroll down a little bit, you will notice this line here, key def. That stands for key definition. And these numbers here correspond to the, the keyboard settings. If your keyboard isn't working, isn't responding, chances are these on yours will all be zeros because it's not linked any keys to any functions. I don't use the keyboard personally, so these numbers you see here should be the default settings for the keys when you first install the game. So if you do have the keyboard issue, and your key def is 0000, zero, zero, zero which it should be if you have the keyboard issue pause the video now go into yours whether it be in the app data or the c drive and literally change your key def numbers to exactly as you see on my screen here yeah so pause the video copy the numbers exactly as you see them and then make sure you file and save it if you don't save it it'll revert back to how it was so file and save and that will get your keyboard working again um, you can see it's got numbers for the joy joy pads as well. That's for the controllers. So it also does it for the controllers But if you're just looking for the keyboard and you've got the keyboard issue, that's all you need change it to that exactly as you see it there file save it Get rid of it Then if you don't like what those controls correspond to and you want to change it yourself Do that that will get the keyboard responding again, and then you can run the game and simply go down to your options key config press on whatever function you want and then press the corresponding button you know press the action button on the corresponding function you want and then press the corresponding key you want to use that function so you can customize it exactly as you want if you don't like the standard setup simple as that so that is how to get your lost config.ini file found and how to solve the unresponsive keyboard issue. Now these are the proper fixes, yeah. As as written by Gemini, the, the classic rebirth patch creator. So this should fix the problem. In 99999999 percent of cases, this will fix the problem. As with all PC problems, occasionally someone might pop up who it doesn't solve it for. If it does, then you know what I know now. I mean, you can comment, I will try and help, but if you do all this properly, and as I've shown you, and you still have problems, then, you know, God knows, uh, you, you know what I know, basically. That, that, is, that is how to do the fixes, and that should get it working for most people, uh, if not all people. So, thank you very much for watching. Have fun with RE2 Source next, and playing all the great mods that are out there. And I will see you on the next stream. Take it easy, everybody. See you later.